Malcolm Roberts, eh? Hey? Yeah. yeah, good on ya. Um, so we're here tonight at our safe. We're learning about safe schools. So I, I don't really. I didn't know much about it. I've read a few posts, and I definitely thought, well, this isn't good. I've had a few mates of mine, um, families who are very concerned. Uh, you know, just over conversation, but I've never really delved into it, you know, and it, it's concerning after what we watched tonight, the presentation, it's concerning, isn't it? It's very concerning, and there are two main aspects to it. First of all, I want to say just how well Sandy Turner did tonight. Mm -hmm. He raised topics that opened... There were a lot of people here in the room who have quite familiar with this program, and uh, they were they were horrified too. So the first aspect is just how dishonest it is and just how damaging it is to young kids. Um, the second thing is that it's typical of what's happening in our society because this is just yet another symptom of how they try to control, another example of how they try to control people. Mm. So it's all about controlling minds con and controlling people. So it's like the sexualization of children, really, and, and they're it's masking grooming it kids. with... Grooming yeah, kids. They're grooming children and they're using a... They're saying it's safe schools. It's like a manipulation. We're fooling parents and the yep. public into thinking this is this is something positive, but really it's, it's the sexualization of children. Correct. It's grooming of kids. And it's just like so many other things that these agencies bring in to, from overseas. Uh, they, they've got wonderful, attractive names behind them. How can you disagree with sustainability? How can you disagree with biodiversity? How can you disagree with safe schools? They label it something that it's not. They're actually pushing something else under the carpet that it's just completely wrong. Mm. Um, I've met like... I've met friends. I've met friends who are very concerned, you know, and I think we don't even know the tip of the iceberg. It, it And it seems like this has really been snuck in under us. And it, it's like on the back of the, the same-sex marriage. I mean, when that came along, I thought to myself, I'm going to vote no because I was afraid of opening the Pandora's box and Tony Abbott and Corey Bernardi and many people were saying that. And it seems that this is... It seems like this we may have green lighted a lot of these things, or we've given the confidence to these uh, minority groups that are pushing it on. And it seems like it really, it really is. It's in under well, our nose. The bigger picture is that they're destroying institutions, institutions, not just um, physical institutions, but things like institution of marriage. That's been destroyed. And when you destroy so many of these things that basically have been taken for granted for so many years, then Kids, adults, have got nothing to get hold of. And so then they start turning to the government. It's just about control. Yeah, and, and it's a sad thing because I think to myself, if these programs are in, I, I don't want my children in there. Like when I grew up, um, I'm a Christian now, but I wasn't, a, I wasn't raised as a Christian. We're an atheist family. And my mum said, no, you're not going to RE. I was able to opt out. And it seems like these programs... Maybe we won't be able to opt out. It's, it's been uh, bought in, and we don't know what the schools that it's been taught. You know, See, it's there's, there's a huge difference, Ben. Uh, back in, in those days, you knew what RE was. Mm. Now you don't know what's happening. And it's, it's camouflage. It's hidden by lots of pretty words. And then it, it's done subtly, and it's done through all the subjects. So you can't avoid it. Yeah, it's dangerous. Unschooling. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you so much, Malcolm. Cheers, mate. Logan, mate. <laughs> thank you a lot. Cheers.